uh, we're adjusting to this new type of uh, rotation that we got going on right now too. I mean, with the guys that we have injured, it's just this is how it's got to be. We got to just figure it out and piece it together and see how it goes. But, uh, you know, those guys are coming. Paddock, we get him back. And Darvish, those guys getting healthy is certainly going to put us back uh, in the normal way of doing things. But until then, we've just got to find a way. Uh, there's no excuses. There's no rhyme or reason. We've just got to find a way. And that's it's at that point in the season where it doesn't matter how your arm feels or your how your brain feels. you got to figure it out. What's your level of surprise of where you guys are right now on the outside looking in at the playoff picture as you face the Dodgers again? Um, I don't know about surprise being the right word. I know that throughout many major league seasons, they, you know, things go right and things go wrong. You go in slumps and you get hot. And, man, we're in a slump at what seems like the worst time imaginable, but um, you never know. This could turn into, you know, one of the greatest San Diego comebacks in history. Uh, and that's what I've got planned for the future. And I hope the rest of my teammates feel the same way. Um, Jace brought up your name in particular when he said people that are trying to talk Ryan Weathers through the stretch. He had pitched so well up to the trade line, deadline, but he's 21 years old. He had one start and it was in the playoffs last year and things turned so quickly for him. What what are those conversations like that you're having with him to try to share some things that might help him turn some of this around? Yeah, we're just looking for any little thing that might uh, turn the tide and it might be a big thing. It might be a little thing. And so far, you know, we've thrown a bunch of stuff against the wall and none of it stuck. So he's in one of those rookies, you know, things that just, it's not going well. And he's probably losing a little bit of confidence because the results aren't there. And, you know, unlike when I was a rookie, we were so bad. It didn't matter if I pitched bad. They, I was given another chance to pitch good. Um, we're in a different situation where we really, really need him to pitch at his highest capability like he was early in the season. And, you know, we're going to keep loving him, and I'm going to keep pestering him. He's going to get annoyed as heck about me, but uh, I'm going to, you know, give him as much advice as I can give him, go back to all my experiences, you know, talk about any little thing that we can get you know, Ryan Weathers back to, you know, who we saw in the playoffs last year and who we saw at the beginning of the year this year. Craig, you said no excuses. You got to find a way just till you and Chris get back. But if and when they do get back, like what kind of boost do you think that that gives you guys just in terms of maybe the mental side of things, having them, but also easing the load a little bit on, on the way on, on the arms that you guys have? Yeah, I mean, you know, there's just something about knowing who the starting pitcher is going to be the next day. Um, I don't know what that is, but that's just the way baseball works. It's the way we grew up playing baseball. Um, it's the way the seasons have gone that we've all played up until, you know, this crazy 2021 season after only playing 60 games last year. So uh, we knew in spring training, we talked about how nutso this would be, trying to figure out who's going to pitch what innings and how we're even going to make it through the season. And, you know, we're seeing it right now and hopefully, you know, we've got those guys rested up for a strong September and and this bullpen's maybe, you know, feeling it a little bit right now, but grinding through it and ready to uh, make September our best month. And like I said, you know, make this one of the greatest comebacks in San Diego sports history.